One of my favorite places in the Bible is where Jesus tells the fishermen that are tired, that are coming in without any fish at all in their nets, go out again and try it again one more time. And they, they say, no, we don't want to do this. We know about fishing. We've been out there. We know the waters today. It's absolutely hopeless. And Jesus says, yeah, 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 try one more time. You wouldn't believe the number of times that I've been in counseling with a man or a woman, and they say, you know, I've done it, I've tried that. I say, no, try one more time. This time going not alone, but with God, and with God to show the way. Sometimes our good is just uh, veering off in a slight different direction. But we wouldn't know that if we weren't guided by God. And that has been certainly true of my life. You know, I might have told you the story. I might not have. Back in 1998, when I first had the idea for doing positive daily inspiration, I saw it as a newspaper column. I imagined a syndicated column across the United States, and I was going to proceed with that idea. Well, thank goodness that I was guided in the way, and I've also probably told you the story on how much I fought that guidance. I didn't own a computer. I didn't know anything about the Internet. I thought that was the craziest idea ever. Thank God. Thank God. The newspapers, every single one that I was going to use, they've gone out of business. Jesus showed some discouraged fishermen a better way to fish. And when they did... As Jesus said, they cast their nets into the deep waters, and their catch of fish filled the boat. It was so heavy it could have sank the boat. And then Jesus went on to teach these fishermen a spiritually enriched way of life. And they became his first disciples. You know that using spiritual principles in everyday matters as well as in a big crisis is a way of life that you are going to follow too. Living a spiritually enriched life, you find fulfillment and meaning to every moment in life. Even if yesterday was empty and barren, you find new meaning and a full catch in today's life. Searching the depths of your own spirituality, you discover a new wholeness. You discover in body, mind, and spirit a new sense of who you are and that you're not alone and that God is with you, showing you the way. You feel an eternal connection with God and with the power and with the wisdom that is constantly leading you through every second of your day, through the maze of life. You also recognize that all people you meet are on the same journey. We are each on the journey, no matter what church we go to, a journey of spiritual discovery and you do what you can to help them on their way. God bless you.